Welcome everyone. My name is Miss Elizabeth and I work at the Lovettsville Library. Now, before we begin our activity today, I want you to do something with me. Take a deep breath in and then breathe out. Now, I have a question for you. How did you do that just now? What parts or organs inside your body did you use to help you breathe? And I have a hint, there are two main ones. If you said your heart or your lungs, it's exactly right. Those are the main two parts that help you breathe. So what we are going to do today is make models of your heart and your lungs to show just how you do that. And we're going to make them using items that you have lying around your house probably right now. So let's go ahead and get started by making a heart. What you're going to need is a bowl of water, a toothpick, some scissors, some food coloring. You can pick whatever color you want, but to look like blood, I'm going to pick red. Some tape, one balloon, two straws, and then you don't have to do this, but I recommend having a bigger bowl or cookie sheet or tray because sometimes the pumping can get a little vigorous <laughs> of, the, of this model heart. All right, so how you start is you want to take your food coloring and go ahead and color your water to look like the inside of the heart. All you need is about a couple drops and that should be sufficient. So as you wait for your main heart chamber here and the water in it to mix with the food coloring, you're going to want to take your balloon and you're going to want to stretch it a little bit just to make sure you can um, stretch it well because it's going to stretch over this jar. And to do that, you're going to take the neck of the balloon and your scissors and you're going to want to cut off the neck. Now don't throw away the neck because we're going to use it in a later step. Alright, so now with your balloon you're going to want to stretch it over the top of the jar. So it's covering it all the way. Try not to spill it as you do it. Alright, now once you have the cover, this cover is going to be your valve of your heart. And the valves inside your heart um, are what open and close and help move the blood through the four different chambers of your heart and to help get it oxygenated from the oxygen that comes from your lungs. So to mimic the way the blood moves through the heart with these straws, we're going to need to make little holes in these valves. And we're going to do that with the toothpick. So um, as you make these holes with the toothpick, what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to have to stretch the hole with the toothpick quite a bit to get the straw through, but you don't want to tear the balloon because otherwise this won't work. You want the, um, the balloon to be nice and tight around the straw. So now that you have your completed heart, what you're going to do is you're going to take this neck of the balloon and you're going to use it and you're going to use it to tape over one of the straws. And it doesn't matter which one, either one works, but you just want to do this to reduce the amount of mess. This will be the slightly messy part, but also the fun part. So it's good to go ahead and put your bowl um, with your heart inside a bigger bowl or a cookie sheet or something. And so this balloon right here is going to stand for the valves, just like we were saying earlier. So when I push down on this balloon, it's going to be like when the valves open inside your heart, bringing blood inside the next chamber. And then when I release the balloon, that's going to be like when the valves close. And it will look just sort of like this. 
and you push on the balloon. Water starts to come out. And that's how the blood pumps through your heart. All right, so next we are going to make a model of our lungs. For this activity, you're going to need three balloons, some clay or Play-Doh, a pair of scissors, and an adult's help, a 16 liter bottle, some tape, preferably stronger tape like electrical tape, and two straws. So to start out, this bottle is going to be sort of like your rib cage right here. So I'll go ahead and take the top off the balloon and then this part is where you'll need the adult's help and that is to cut off the bottom of the bottle. So once you have the bottom of the bottle off, what you're going to do is take one of your balloons and go ahead and tie a knot in the bottom of it, just like if you were blowing up a balloon. All right, and then unlike our other part where we, where we were making off that, uh, making the heart and cutting off the bottom or neck of the balloon, we're going to cut off the very top of this balloon. Make it a nice even cut over the top. You don't want to cut too deep. All right, and so then with this bottom half of the balloon, you're going to want to stretch that over the bottom of your bottle. And this is going to be a little bit like your diaphragm muscle. It's a muscle that's right below your lungs and it helps you breathe. So to help keep this diaphragm in place, we're going to want to take the tape and tape it down pretty securely. All right, now's the part where we get to make our lungs. So, these two pink balloons are going to be our lungs. What you're going to want to do is um, take the balloon and tape it around the bottom of each straw. Once you have your lungs, you're going to want to stick them inside your rib cage, just like so. making sure that there is plenty of room for them to expand inside the bottle. And then with your Play-Doh, you're going to want to pack that around the straws and the neck of your bottle so there isn't going to be any air. You want it to be really airtight up there. Now that you have your lung, it's time to actually use it and see how it works. So what you're going to want to do is um, pull on this bottom balloon. And this is like when you um, when you pull on it down is when you like when you breathe in and when you release the balloon is like when you breathe out. So I'm going to show you just how that works. It's better to hold the um, clay sort of around the edge just to keep it nice and airtight up here. So we breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. And that is very similar to how we breathe. So that's about all the time we have for this activity today. And if you would like to access even more great library resources and databases and um, interact with some of our great programs for kids and adults online, you can visit us at library.loudon.gov. Thanks so much and have a great day.